All right, well, colleges and universities are now looking for new ways to promote diversity after the Supreme Court struck down affirmative action one week ago. Yeah, but it's nothing new for California, which already banned race-based admissions nearly three decades ago. CBS 13, Sacre Gray, live in Sacramento, with how UC Davis's School of Nursing has managed to increase diversity over the years without affirmative action. Good morning, Sacra. Yeah, good morning. The School of Nursing has been using a holistic admissions process for years. So rather than filling a race-based quota, they're taking in a number of factors that paint the pictures of who these students really are. And so far, with the diversity that they've seen with their incoming class and classes that are graduating, that method has paid off. Admissions weren't always like this. UC Davis's med school once reserved spots for minority students. In the 70s, white student Alan Backey filed suit after he was denied admission. A landmark Supreme Court decision in favor of Backey put UC Davis at the center of conversation on affirmative action. The admissions committee says they now curate each incoming class to represent the diversity of the patients they'll serve all sorts of fascinating ways of being and thinking and that only makes our profession all rise and be better. Now the admissions committee takes into account experiences such as attending an under-resourced high school, living in a medically underserved area, a primary language other than English, or being a first-generation student. Now, classes kicked off this week for the newest batch of future nurses. And in this new class, 46% are first generation students. And with this admissions process, last year the school experienced their most diverse class of PAs in the history of the school. Yeah, certainly something that the nation is watching as the Supreme Court has just uh, decided to move forward for the country. So we'll continue to watch. Thank you so much, Sacra, live in Sacramento.